Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to go to Tandy Leather in San Antonio, Texas. First thing I notice when you walk in is the smell. It's like new car meets warm horse. It's a lovely smell. Can't wait to take it home with me. These are a bunch of different tools, um, really expensive tools. This one here I kind of liked. It was for skiving or thinning leather. Um, a lot of work for us when I can just find something that's a two, three ounce, but for $400, you can get a machine that'll thin your leather. Over here, we've got uh, stuff for tooling leather. Um, now there's my uh, hammer I use for when I am stamping and embossing. Um, there's different hammers, less expensive ones. Um, kind of like that rubber one there. It's pretty cool. Um, if, I mean, you could use something that, like the wooden one would work too. Just be a little loud. You can always just get one at a DIY store too. Just a rubber mallet. Um, these are stylus also for tooling. That was a different one. Um, not quite the one I was looking for. Um, but those are the different stylus. Uh, getting a good one is kind of important for good tooling. Especially a miniature. It needs to be small enough. Um, I did fine wine right there and I, I grabbed a spare because uh, mine tend to wear out or disappear when people borrow them. Um, further down, we've got different types of tooling um, stamps. Now, most of these stamps, which you pound with the hammer, are going to be too big for model horse hobby. Sometimes the background ones you can get do something interesting with. That was a background one. Um, that's hard to tell when they're inside the plastic. So I was looking at some trying to think, is this going to be small enough? That might be, but, but I think I didn't like the texture. Uh, but anyways, you have to really go and see them physically. You can't tell when you're looking in their catalog. I, I just recommend it because I've bought some that are just, they're huge. They're so big. I can't use them. So it was a waste of money. Okay. So moving on from the stamping kits there, uh, those boards are for pounding on. Uh, they are supposed to deaden the noise. I've never used one. I probably should, but um, I haven't used one. That's what those are for. Uh, there wasn't anything there. Let's see. What have we got? I'm touching things because I don't know what it is. I'll probably have to look it up on the web. Um, I got some cutters here and hole punches. So that I've seen on real saddles, that curved knife, and it's really sharp. If you keep it really sharp, yeah, you can do a lot of, they skive with that on just saddle leather. Um, so here's a, an embosser, um, and that's my favorite one. I like that one. There's other ones. This one I like because you've got those ridges. Yeah, that would work. But you got ridges there where you can get the edge of the leather really good when you're um, edge coating and trying to get rid of hairs. Uh, needles and thread and sewers, so the punch sewers. Um, yeah, I can use those. Um, what do we got along this wall? Um, more hole punches. Uh, they have the kits that I showed uh, in my how to make a metal studs video. And those are the different sizes. And they also had some uh, double O, triple O, quadruple O, um, which is pretty cool. See, that I liked that kit. Um, and then these other punches, which I probably could if I wanted to make studs that small, buy one of those that small. Yeah, but as far as just making holes, that's that's what I use right there. Um, it's for glove weight leather, and I use it uh, for the two, three, and it's got five different hole sizes. So I use that for making holes, and uh, so I don't actually need to punch anything. Uh, needle, there's threads and needles, and uh, most of those are, you know, pretty standard supplies. I didn't see anything in particular. So I did notice these multi-punches. Uh, uh, for lacing, and I wanted to see if I could find one for book stitching that would be small enough. So you pound these, and you can get anywhere from one to like seven different uh, holes for lacing. And um, and I was going to do book stitching, so I did kind of take a look at these, trying to estimate if if I thought any of those would be small enough. I ended up getting one, um, and it's still not small enough. So. Yeah, spent a lot of time there looking at that for nothing. Okay, moving away from the tool wall and all of those uh, temptations there. Uh, this is tooling leather. 
and who are talking anything from a three, four down to up to like a nine, 10. And they had it in different uh, qualities. Um, so you had your really expensive stuff with fewer flaws and then uh, your more utility uh, leather. Um, they had saddle skirting as well. And uh, that's $99 for the whole skin, by the way. So that was pretty reasonable uh, considering how big the skin is. Um, yeah, so, but you're going to give pay for what you get. So all of that was uh, too thick for what I was looking for. I'm looking at two, three or less. And um, even though that was good price, like $75 for a huge skin like that, you know what saddles I can make off of that? belt and whatever like 69.99 i was tempted on that piece uh but it's still too thick so i had to move on I had to move on so yeah i had to touch all of the leather okay all of it I had to touch all of it and just giving you an idea of the different types um the, the flat ones um they had saddle skirting which is uh this stuff so it's almost even pre uh dyed oil oil finished um so that it's a little bit weather more weather resistant uh, but that's what that is <clears throat> okay so that's the first one third of the building um and then i came over here there's this uh the short well that was 50 bucks it looked like it might be a good deal but it just didn't have the finish that i was looking for for what i do um those are shoulders and they probably were thin enough um and tooling leather and pretty reasonably priced so it's not a full skin it's just a shoulder so that's something you could look into as long as it's a two three if it's thicker than that you're going to be disappointed in okay moving up towards the front of the store again um just can't seem to stop touching those shoulders i love touching leather so it's really bad um here's some more uh types of leather laid out those are much thicker than anything we would do and stiff i mean really stiff so maybe good for belts and stuff that um again couldn't help but touching it and it's still too thick for what i'm looking for uh but the skins were smaller so and there's some scrap in that basket here's some more skin so they have plenty of variety depending upon what it is that uh you want to make i mean those were only 60 dollars. i don't know what the weight was on those <clears throat> Because they have holes, you know, the quality's a little less. Um, and then they have these patterns. I didn't grab any of them, but, um, you know, these are tooling patterns, and you could try to modify them for miniature. Um, I was looking at these corners. Um, I could probably use those corners, but I didn't grab them. There's so many things on the Internet for free these days um, that can be used. I, you know, it's not... Not like you have to have these. Um, I did like the suedes. These are really pretty uh, nice decorative suede. I could see um, making clothes out of them. I could do a saddle out of that flag um, suede. The problem is it's way too much suede. I could only make one or two saddles. And I think they were like, oh, how much were they? Like $109. It was just a lot of money for that. Uh, front, they have all these uh, hair on or decorative. Um, oh, that's rawhide. Uh, hey there that's um, what they use for a lot of stuff and saddle making that is too thick for us more hair on that's the sheep uh it's what you put on a saddle on the underneath underside nice and fuzzy too fuzzy for us and then um that's just stabilizing which i sometimes i'd like to know because i may need it at some point but um that uh, is for like bags and stuff to put some body in the bag um so here's some um, some of these like that black was a sheepskin. That's a that's a good you could use that for English uh, saddles without a problem. It's got a good drape. It's got a good sheen. Really small grain on it, um, and twelve ninety nine. I mean, you know, you can get a lot of um, saddles for that. Now that's a pigskin. See the hair follicles. You don't want that. And that's a lamb, so there's no, the hair follicles are very small. Um, they had other browns. I didn't like any of the browns. I wish they had something I could actually use for us, but they, they don't. This is all furniture weight uh, leather. They've got, that was a nice brown, um, but they didn't have anything like that. The weight I'm looking for. 
I can't help but touch it. I'm sorry. You know, good drape and everything, just too thick, too thick and waxy. Some of the stuff was really waxy. You could tell on the finish, and I, I don't like waxy texture on my saddles. So you could do what you want to do. Yeah, I love that. Um, again, not suitable for us. Furniture weight. Price isn't bad, but it's furniture weight. You're not going to get um, really good saddles on that. And then, um, you know, these are different suede. I didn't like the thickness. I didn't like the finish on them. These would be like for a chair in a smoking room or something. It's a suede-like leather, so the finish is brushed instead of waxy. Um, but again, it's for furniture, and that's the weight. And um, that's a really pretty brown. I'd love to find something I could do saddles out of that brown. Um, this is not quite a tan. That's, I don't like that. It's an off white, but still, I mean, I could dye it, I suppose. That orange, I couldn't do anything with. But here they got some interesting colors for like medieval, if you want to do medieval costumes or whatever. Um, that has too much texture. I have no idea who would do anything out of that. I just, not, not anything. Oh, that blue. Nice sky blue. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Um, let's see here. They had some pre-cut, some tooling leather, um, and they were all too, um, thick for us. So that wasn't going to work. Um, there's more of that. It's just more expensive though. That, that suede that's been printed on, um, it'd be pretty for projects. I'm just not for saddles. Um, and then moving on to the, I don't know why I was in love with that. That's the right thickness. Um, so this stuff too much, um, pattern. No, too thick and too much pattern. None of this stuff in this corner relates to us. It's all kits. Okay, anything down that far wall is what we would we would get at Rio Rondo. Um, it's just fittings and stuff, but way too big for us. They did have these, um, well, more of this thick, lovely furniture weight uh, leathers, which would be nice if you were a finisher. Uh, then we have these uh, skin on or hair on animal skins, the small ones. I think that's rabbit. Um, I don't know if we can use that for Indian costumes. Some of those you could probably use that area for like a, a seat for a Western saddle. And um, I think my mother left me some small skin of this after she was done making belts. So, yeah, some of them you could use, some of them you can't. So that was kind of a interesting like that whole skin yeah that would probably be suitable it's the wrong color though and they're a little bit pricey for a small piece of decorative but anyways um trying to finish up on this side more this is suede but you can see how thick it is i mean it's just way too thick for us um more down there same same story too thick pretty colors though i tell you the browns were really nice and that gold oh my gosh yeah that would be nice that would be fun to play with i wonder what i could make with that uh but that's not what i'm here for okay more of that furniture weight uh skins um and um i, I go those are cut suede and cut leather they're just small pieces you know in case you just want to do a small project um but uh um yeah there's just more pretty pretty uh leather um, this is all printed now there was one silver piece i was looking at a lot of the, the pattern was just too large for us um and it's right on the edge of too thick but there was this one silver piece that i liked right there so yeah i ended up getting that it's thin enough and it, uh, it the the pattern is small enough that um yeah that's something i'll come back for okay we're back to that wall of stuff that you know we'd never use but i found these that red is nice the blue the blue is lovely it's a beautiful color shiny and really it's really lightweight could use western saddle seats with that who knows what else and then i found this i came for this is a one and a half to two and a half ounce vegetable tan tooling leather it's a sheepskin and i thought um is it you know really really look at that it's only 49.99 that's a small skin it's not a big skin but that's what we're looking for right there one and a half to two and a half ounce is beautiful for miniatures now you're gonna have trouble carving this because it's very thin 
So you want something thicker, a two, three ounce if you want to carve. But for a lot of the uh, stuff that we do, this would be great. And I thought, okay, that's it. I'm done. Um, I found what I came for. It's time. It's time for me to go shopping now, right? But I looked a little bit further down and there it is, Capscat. Now it's more expensive at $69.99, but it's also a one and a half to two and a half ounce. Also can't carve this well because you go through it so right through the skin so easily, but that and the sheepskin, that's why I came. Yeah, I didn't need that. This is what we came for. This is the miniature leathers that we need for English Western. I mean, you could do pommels with this instead of Skyver. You could even do horns with this instead of Skyver. Um, it's because it's thin enough and it's stretchy enough. You can do stuff with it. And so, yes, I am now shopping. I will be looking for some of those skins to take with me. In my excitement, I realized that I still had the camera and I came here to film, not to shop, but I was ready to shop at that point. Um, here's another thin black, uh, not too waxy. Uh, the blue was nice. Not imagine what we'd blue, do with that. Those others weren't any good. So the really thin stuff was back here. You can use this for like medieval costumes and stuff. It's thin enough to make things. Um, I couldn't tell in the darkness really very well what these were. So um, I had to pull a pull one out and get it out in the light to really look at it. Um, but they felt like they were thin enough. I just couldn't tell if the texture was acceptable or not. Above that um, and over uh, are these different suede. That pink was really pretty. I'm out of pink, so I almost uh, almost grabbed a pink. Um, these are pigskin suede, so that means that one side has the hair follicles and the other side is finished. So it's not a double-sided suede blue i just have this thing about blue um and it's suede so you just almost want to wrap yourself up in it it's such a luxurious feeling so um probably need to get some black i'm really low on black but there's some other colors there too so yeah pretty suede that's all garment weight definitely suitable for seats um and treads and linings and yeah for the um, cinches and things. So it's nice to have the suede and some neutral colors. Um, and yeah, I picked that. So that one, that's going home with me. All right. Um, books. So yes. Um, I like books. Um, they have, I have, that's the saddle making book. I have that one. I found it very helpful for miniature because it shows you how to make full size saddles and, um, definitely recommend reading it um stepping away from the books i found some lamb skin now this is i like this stuff for uh english saddles i've um i've liked the texture and the color and uh but these here had all that nasty i had to get it out into the light now get all those stretch marks no i wouldn't i wouldn't buy this Usually I would buy lamp skin like that, but it was stretched wrong. So that's, that's devastating. It's a bad piece of leather. And that's why I like to go and look, you know, um, there was more suede up there, um, more fittings that we don't, we would never use back here on the back wall. Leather lace. And I will tell you right now, I have tried all the different leather lace at Tandy and hope against hope that I would find something suitable for us. And they just don't have it. The smallest they have and the narrowest they have is a one eighth and we go to one sixteenth we also do three thirty second and um <clears throat> none of this is is good enough and then it's beveled if you can look at it it's beveled so it means it's high in the middle and low on the outside you can't skive that you can't skive it and then that suede that you know uh they have is so squared try and skive that you can't get a knife that's sharp enough yeah, see, all of that is beveled. Oops, that's pretty cool. And belt buckles. Oops, pretty neat. All right, on to chemicals. So there's a lot of different chemicals. I would research those online. Uh, mostly dyes. Um, and um, I'll show you what I actually brought home. So I'm not going to walk you through all of this. Um, and yeah, I did buy some of that. Chemicals right now. Um, found some other interesting painted, embossed uh, leathers. Um, 
Yeah, nothing I saw that we could use. The texture is just too large. I mean, even on these colors, look at the texture. Yeah, a lot of grain on that. And so we couldn't, we couldn't use that. Um, another reason why it's good to go see. Okay, we've seen these shoulders before. That's pretty much the entire store. Let's show you what I ended up getting. So I did end up getting that. Um, it's a leather, but it's silver. So I can do seats like parade and other decorative uh, seats out of this. And uh, we'll see what else. But that's, that was the reason for that. I got my Super Sheen and my Satin Sheen. I got buckskin leather dye. That should be a good brownish color. Light brown leather dye. This is regular old leather dye, the Feebings. Um, I did get tan and um, light tan. So I got light brown tan and light tan. So I got um, some other browns that aren't just brown. These paste, these antique paste. <clears throat> and so I got them in uh, British tan, so that's going to be a very reddish color, but um, it should be good contrast. You know, do like a dark and then use this as the contrast. Should be interesting or even natural and then use this. So uh, that'll be interesting. I, I want to use that dark brown. I love this stuff in the dark brown. They didn't have any black. Um, and I, I used it until it finally dried up. So I got both of those. Makes me happy. Okay, I did get the, a new stylus that's like my old stylus. Um, cause I really do like this. So I got a second one just in case. And I'll just put that in my spares. Sometimes um, family will borrow my tools and not put them back. And I can't have that. All right, so let's see how this works for buck stitching. I think that's close enough together. I can use it for miniature. Okay, so at Tandy, if you want a discount um, and you resale, you have to apply for uh, a, an account, basically. Not an account that they can you can charge or anything, but you have to apply. So I had to buy $500 worth of merchandise at no discount show a resale certificate which I have and then they send the application to corporate but right now I mean all of this is full price so this is a really pretty leather I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this but I, I do this sometimes I fall in love with the color the sheen so I don't know I mean I could make a um, Make a whole English saddle out of it, a whole Western saddle out of it. It's really thin. I think that was one of the other things. I could do seats for Western saddles if I want to do something really colorful. So, yeah, that was that was something I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Um, got suede because I never have enough black suede. And I can't use this side, but I can use this side. And... Um, Sometimes I'll use this as the backing on my saddle instead of a chamois. So now I'm covered. I can I can use that, um, and uh, can use it on almost any, you know, use seats and, and knee blocks for the uh, English. I have used this suede, this really uh, th thin tiny suede instead of Skyver for my English saddles. That just means you've got suede. Uh, covering the it just it's going to look different but it is an option if you can't find Skyver. I also asked her about ordering special ordering Skyver, and they don't even have it in their system so yeah that's sad okay brown suede same thing these are like $25 a skin it's not that bad I mean just look at all of this this is this is a lot of leather and then there's always, this is, it's pig skin, so this side you can see the hair follicles, and this side is less, you know. So, um, they didn't have any lambskin suede, but that's, you know, pretty okay. This, I mean, this again, it can be for the back of the western saddles, it can, um, for, it can be like knee blocks for my English, brown English saddles, it can be, uh, oh, 
seats, uh, treads for stirrups. I mean, I could even, if I wanted to, I could make saddle pads out of this instead of suede, instead of felt. So, I mean, that brown, not a problem. Okay, this is black for English. This is better than the stuff I have now, but for English saddles and dressage saddles and uh, side saddles, I mean, this is just, this is luxury. And it's a pretty good size skin. So yeah, I got that. It's calf, tooling leather. This is calf tooling leather. This is regular cow tooling leather. Okay, I want you to see the difference in the width. Okay, this, look at this stuff. You look at this, it's really stiff. But this, I mean, oh man, this is lovely. It is really lovely. I love calf. Uh, this is $70 for the skin. It's a good size skin, but it's $70. And that is about what it was even in Arizona. I mean, the prices don't seem to have changed much. I'd have to get out an old invoice from many years ago. Five, six, maybe seven years ago. Look at that. So I got one of those. Let's see. So I think I got two of these. So this is lamb. Sheep. I think, let me double check, because I think I would said I had two of these would be okay. They were a little less expensive, a little smaller skin. This is sheep. And I think I tried to show you in the store that doesn't look to be much of a difference except the size of the skin. So again, this hair is a little bit thicker there. But the um, this skin, I mean, just look at that. It could almost be regular garment leather. It's just so, so this would be more something I could tool because it's thick enough. If you get too thin, when you go to cut with a, a, a knife or a scalpel or something, you can go right through. So this one here is so, so thin, this would be, you know, I dye this for English saddles or um, I just wouldn't tool this. I could use this for my, uh, my um, pommels on my Western saddle. So I get that really nice. This is a really good skin to do that. Where instead of using Skyber, I could use this because it just, it is more, th it's thinner and more pliable than a regular 2.3. 1.5 to 2 ounce. This is going to be the closest thing to Skyber they're going to have. So this is Kip. And, um, and it, look at the, th the thickness. So I, I've been working on this and this one here is about the same thickness as my kip and kip is even it's it's drapier uh than regular full-grown cow um but if you look at the bend okay so i bend this it's there's a stiffness to it then i bend this and it can almost you can almost put a crease in it and it's really hard to put a crease in this so that's so the drapiness of this is way better than this. And when you go and you touch this and you feel it, you, you immediately recognize that this is a thinner, more supple leather. Um, so anyways, that is my haul, a Tandy leather. Um, uh, but you know that at uh, Tandy, if you ask them to cut a skin, it's immediately 60% more than a skin that is not cut. So keep that in mind. Anyways, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I had a blast at Tandy, let me tell you. Um, tell all your friends about the channel. Like, subscribe, and have yourself a really awesome day.